Welcome to another Geek Moment. Today we'll be discussing the Smart Mesh IP Starter Kit from Linear Technologies Dust Networks. Dust Networks is known for providing wireless solutions with high data reliability and ultra low power consumption. The Smart Mesh IP utilizes a six low pan wireless network protocol on 802.15.4 radios, which allows a designer to achieve a very robust wireless network of up to 100 nodes with extended battery life. Smart Mesh IP uses several methods to maintain data integrity. Every node in a Smart Mesh IP network is tightly time synchronized to avoid message collisions. Additionally, the network is constantly hopping between various frequency channels to help mitigate interference from outside sources. Every node in a Smart Mesh IP network is capable of routing messages while maintaining a low power state. This allows a message to take various paths between two nodes. So these three precautions, the time synchronization, the frequency channel hopping, and the path diversity help maintain data reliability above 99% in a Smart Mesh IP wireless network. Smart Mesh IP radios lead the industry in power consumption characteristics by utilizing Eterna SOC technology. It takes less than 5 milliamps to receive a message and less than 10 milliamps to transmit a message at 8 dBm transmit power. In addition, because the network is so tightly time synchronized, a radio is only on when it's ready to transmit or receive a message, which leads to a duty cycle of less than 1%. With the low duty cycle and the low peak current draw, a routing node can run on under 50 microamps of average current consumption, which can lead to a battery life of greater than 10 years. All right, now that I've thrown the first page of the data sheet at you, let's actually take a look at what comes with the Smart Mesh IP Starter Kit. Inside the box, you'll see a manager assembly, which consists of the manager board itself and a PC interface board. Five remote nodes known as motes come with the kit, as well as an extra PC interface board in case we want to connect one of the motes to the PC. Each node comes with a coin cell battery already attached and two USB cables come with the kit as well for the PC interface boards as well as some backup batteries. Well now we'll go ahead and connect the manager node to the PC to actually run diagnostics and monitor our wireless network. Once the manager assembly is connected to the PC, the drivers will auto install. If you're using Windows XP, you should have a hyper access program already installed. If you're using Windows 7 or Vista, you will need to download some sort of terminal program such as PuTTY or TerraTerm. I have TerraTerm installed on my computer already. Um, we're going to go ahead and check our device manager and make sure our virtual COM ports have enumerated properly. And you can see under ports, COM, and LPT, we have four virtual COM ports have enumerated in sequential order. Uh, in my case, it's COM 34, 35, 36, and 37. Um, your numbers may be different, but they should be four sequential numbers. Uh, Dust Networks provides a couple of different ways of interfacing with your network. The command line interface, or CLI, is ready to go as soon as the drivers install, and that uses the second highest enumerated COM port. In my case, it's COM36. So we'll go ahead and start up our terminal software. As I mentioned, I'm using TerraTerm. And we'll go ahead and set up our serial port to use COM36. The default baud rate for these is 9600. Uh, the rest of the settings should be 8, none, 1, none. And hit OK. Now, if we turn on our manager node, if everything's connected properly and the serial port settings are correct, we should get a header to print in our terminal window which we do. Um, if we hit enter a couple times, we should get a command prompt, a little arrow indicating we can enter commands. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on some motes and just set up a simple network here. We'll go ahead and turn on all five of them. 
And while we're waiting for them to join the network, we can just type help in our command line. And you'll see a few different commands display. Um, if we log in, we can view all of the available commands. And you can log in as either a user or a viewer. A user can actually make changes to the wireless network. Um, a viewer can simply read diagnostics from it. It is password protected, um, but initially there is no password. So we'll go ahead and just log in as a user. And now if we type help, we can see all of the available commands. And if we type help and a certain command, it'll give syntax of how to type that command. It looks like all of our nodes have joined the network. So just as a simple demo, we can take a temperature reading from the remote nodes. Uh, this can be done using the ping command. So when a moat joins the network, it'll auto enumerate. Uh, the manager is considered node one, and each moat that joins the network will enumerate as node two, three, four, and so on. <clears throat> so we can go ahead and ping node two, and it will receive a response that tells us how long it took to get a response, the voltage of the battery, uh, and also the temperature in Celsius. So this was just a simple demonstration of how you can take a temperature reading, read the battery voltage, um, and the time it takes to actually communicate between the two nodes. Uh, these are three of the most basic pieces of diagnostics that a technician or an engineer might be interested in once these are deployed in the field. Dust Networks also provides a sample GUI application so that a designer can visualize his network graphically. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the Smart Mesh IP Starter Kit from Linear Technologies Dust Networks. For more information, you can visit DigiKey's website and search Smart Mesh IP or to place an order for your own starter kit, and you can see for yourself how easy it is to use right out of the box.